Listen, welcome back to another video. As you know, it's Wednesday, and part of the Wednesdays, I make offers, and part of my irresistible offer this week was to make a video about your traffic and about your promotions. And if you don't have those nailed down, then you'll be swimming with the fishes, Johnny. Capish? So today, we're gonna talk to you about making irresistible offers that your customers can't refuse and that will still make you money. You got it? So without further ado, let's roll into it. What's up guys, it's Adrian Boysell and I am back for another Adrian graphics and marketing video. Thank you so much for being with me today. I have a great video that I wanna to talk to you about and this is part four of the free series that I've been giving as an irresistible offer to all my friends, all my supporters and all of my subscribers here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I'm not gonna waste a bunch of your time. This video is gonna be a little bit longer, but before we get into it, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I need your support, I need your encouragement, I need your comments to help continue to make these videos great. It's exciting, but as things kind of taper off through all this craziness and people start focusing on other stuff, I wanted to make a series that was dedicated to helping you guys make money online. So that's what this video is about. So part four is about driving traffic and creating promotional offers. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is a promotional offer? Well, we're gonna get into that later in this video, but first, I wanna start off by talking about traffic. And what I mean by traffic, I don't mean the traffic that's going up and down the road. I've said this before and I've done videos about this before. So definitely look through some of my previous videos where I go deeper into traffic. And what I mean by traffic, I don't mean the traffic that's going up and down the road. I've said this before and I've done videos about this before. So definitely look through some of my previous videos where I go deeper into traffic. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the different types of traffic and the kind of traffic that you need to be focusing on depending on where you're at in your business. Now, if you were just getting started, my guess is that you have very little funds and you're bootstrapping this business to try to get it off the ground, get things running and get things going. So you need to understand the three different areas of traffic. Number one is paid traffic versus organic traffic. Paid traffic can come from Google ads, can come from Facebook ads, can come from Google guaranteed, can come from Pinterest, can come from Twitter, can come from LinkedIn. Anybody that you pay online, pay-per-click, whether it's Bing ads or whoever your audience is, you can get traffic from paying for that, but it can be very costly. And if you don't have a system in place yet, I don't recommend you paying for traffic without a system in place because you need to take that traffic and nurture it over a period of time so that traffic not only cost, doesn't cost you a ton of money up front, but you can nurture it and make more money in the long term. You gotta have systems in place if you're gonna run paid traffic. Then you have organic traffic. Now organic traffic is very important because it's obviously the way that you can use your time, which you have a lot of in the very beginning of your business, to create traffic to your website using keywords, okay? They call it niche keywords that are gonna drive traffic back to your site. Every single day, there are people on Google that are looking for services that you provide, for knowledge that you provide. And it's not just on Google, it's here on YouTube. Maybe you found this video through something you were looking for about starting a new online business. This is a way that I can generate organic traffic right to my videos and direct that video traffic right to my website to get more business, to make more money. And these are the same ways that you can do it. You can do it on TikTok for free. You can do it on Instagram for free. You can do it on Facebook for free. You can do it on all the different social media platforms. You can drive organic traffic. You can also use YouTube and Google to drive organic traffic. Now, if you're going to use Google to drive organic traffic, you gotta understand that that takes a significant amount of time. Anything is gonna really take a significant amount of time, but Google traffic specifically, because it's so competitive and there are so many people looking to drive traffic to their website through the organic methods, that it takes a longer period of time. So if you're wanting instant results, my recommendation is you utilize social media. And that brings me to number two. You have online traffic and you have offline traffic. Now online traffic is things like TikTok and Facebook and LinkedIn and all the different social media platforms that are out there, YouTube and Google. Those are all online mediums, even networking groups, where you can get online, post your information, post your stories, post your offers, and get deals coming in through those online methods. Then you have offline methods. You have events, 
which aren't really going on right now, which are more challenging. You have other offline methods like picking up the phone and dialing. You can send mail, mail in the, you can send postcards or letters in the mail. You can go door to door and business to business and do it that way. Those, those are methods for creating traffic that are offline that you can flow back to your website or to your landing page. You need to be able to create that online traffic and offline traffic and you need to have a nice diverse mix of the two. All right, and number three is outbound traffic and inbound traffic. Inbound traffic comes from doing the organic search methods like doing Google My Business, writing articles, doing blog posts, doing guest posts, doing podcasts, all these things that you're gonna do online that you can drive traffic back to you. Okay, that's inbound traffic. Now, outbound traffic is you going out there and doing prospecting, like using LinkedIn and sending messages. Those are outbound messages. Using Facebook, sending outbound messages. Uploading videos to your website and sending out, outbound videos. Using sites like Thumbtack and Bark, all these other places and sending quotes and proposals out to those places. And so you need to understand that you should have a ratio, a good ratio, whether it's 60, 40, 70, 30, most people do 80, 20. And in the beginning, you're probably gonna be doing more of the outbound approach and doing outreach versus getting inbound traffic. But as you continue to build momentum, you will be able to start getting more inbound traffic, start creating more revenue that way, and that becomes more passive, where you're not having to go out there all the time and prospect and send videos and send ads and send emails. Those are the methods that I used in the very beginning, and now as things are scaling up and I've built a lot of momentum, only outbound stuff I do is really asking for referrals, uh, sending out emails to people every once in a while, and that is really my main focus. All right, so now we need to get into the second part of our message, and that is the promotional offer. What is the promotional method you're gonna use? There are three ways that I approach the promotional method for my own business, and these are the things that you need to take into consideration as well. Number one is quality. Are you selling quality? Number two, are you selling price? Or number three, are you selling speed? These are very big areas of your offers that you should have outlined and be able to pick two of them, no more than two. I usually go with one, but typically you wanna have one and then have a backup, kinda of like your avatar when we did that earlier in the previous videos. So if you're gonna be the price guy, then you know you're gonna to need to do more quantity. If you're gonna be the higher end price guy, then you're gonna to need to have a better service. If you're gonna be uh, kind of fair right in the middle, then you're probably gonna to need to offer some sort of competitive speed and have a quick turnaround time. These are all areas that people are looking for. They're either looking to get it done quickly, they're looking to get it done the best, or they're looking to get it done for the cheapest price. And so you need to figure out where your business what problems you're solving, who your clients are, and that is why I wanted you guys to build those foundations in those first three weeks to kind of get through that to understand who you are, what your core values are, and make sure that those apply to the type of promotional offer that you create. Let me say this, and I'm gonna say this twice because it's incredibly important. You need to create irresistible offers. You need to create irresistible offers. An irresistible offer is something that someone cannot refuse. If I were to offer you one-on-one -on -one coaching for let's just say eight weeks for absolutely zero dollars there is a really good chance that the majority of you guys would take me up on that now most of you probably wouldn't take it seriously because i was offering it for free but that's what i'm using as an example as far as leading with price and creating an irresistible offer now if i created a course that said for two thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars I'm gonna walk you through eight weeks one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm gonna take you through the entire process of how to build a seven-figure business from start to finish. I'm gonna help you brand your company. I'm gonna help you build your website. And I'm gonna do all of that work for you for $29.97. And I'm gonna do it uh, in, in eight weeks. You'd be like, wow, that's a really, really great offer. But then I would say even more than that, I'm gonna allow you to pay me that $29.97 over the eight weeks in small payments, or over 12 weeks, or over 14 weeks, and I would break that down. I would make it very easy and make it an irresistible offer where you're like, man, if this guy's gonna show me how to make a million dollars for $3,000 and he's, allow me, he's gonna allow me to pay payments, but the way I do that is building value in that promotional package first. You have to build value in whatever it is that you're selling, and then you gotta tie that into a strong offer. Maybe your offer is to create the very best website that anybody's ever seen. Well, that's gonna come at a cost. That is not gonna be a cheap project. You're gonna to need to be able to do that on a decent time frame. No one's gonna wait a year or two years. You gotta have a specific process in place. You're gonna to have to sell that value and say, hey, in 90 days, I'll build you the nicest website you've ever seen and it'll make you seven figures. And I'm gonna do that for $49.97 or $99.97 and I will allow you to make payments on that 
These are just some examples of things that you can do to create irresistible offers. There are lots of people going out there right now and creating irresistible offers. One of the examples that I can use for you is solar companies. A lot of solar companies are now are offering no interest financing and no payments for 12 months. No interest for 12 months and no payments for 12 months. You can switch and get rid of PG&E and all those local utility providers that are charging you a ton of money and that are increasing their rates for nothing out of pocket and you don't have to pay them anything for a year. So that's all money you could be putting away in your own pocket and then once that year is up, then you'd pay a moderate interest, low, low interest rate and then you'd be able to get solar on your house for literally zero dollars out of pocket. You got paid traffic versus organic traffic. You got online traffic versus offline traffic and you got outbound traffic versus inbound traffic. These are the three big areas when creating traffic. You wanna create an irresistible offer, something that's either based on quality, on service, or on price. It's totally up to you. You wanna offer a guarantee, and you wanna uniquely position that product, that service, that offer different than anybody else because you can price it different than anybody else that way. So that's what I got for you today. I know it's a lot of information to digest, to digest but I really wanna provide value in this course. We got one video left. You guys are gonna love it. I'm bringing the heat. It's gonna be a little bit longer than, than even this one was, but I'm just coming here every week, week after week, to provide you as much value as I can so that you can understand that you have the potential to go from working in a retail business or as a mechanic or as a barber, or whatever your trade and profession is, and turn it into an online revenue stream for you. Maybe you don't leave your job yet. Maybe you build up your online business in the meantime, whether it's selling a service or selling doTERRA essential oils or whatever that is, maybe you take some time to build that on the side and build it as a side hustle and then when that income surpasses your nine to five, you can kill your nine to five, you can come back to me and say, hey man, I killed my nine to five and you started an online business and then you just expand from there. I'm working on a domain marketplace, I'm working on my podcast all the time, I'm working on my web design agency, I'm working on my consulting agency, I'm working on my graphics agency, I'm working on my production company, I'm working with other people in other businesses to generate other revenue streams like Lead Butler. I got a ton of revenue streams going on, at least seven or eight, and that's where you can get to, but you gotta start somewhere first and create a proven model before you can move into those areas. So I hope that helps. I hope you guys are having a great week this week. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, keep looking up.